Hello, class. How you doing? Little Tommy coming at you. Your old uh, Slovi Slovenian buddy from uh, Northeast Ohio. Uh, homeschooling number 53, if you can believe that. Wow. Um, I've got this shirt on from a, a guy that sent this a long time ago. This is his son's band, SDO. So there's that. And uh, thanks for that, by the way. And um, I'd like to give a shout out to the other 1987 East Lake North High School graduates, besides myself. I was looking on the old uh, East Lake North High School website today, and uh, I, I noticed that I was not listed on the notable alumni in the Wikipedia. So thanks for that. And uh, I wanted to give a shout out to this guy, Noel, uh, Neil Boddington from New Zealand who sent this amazing handmade uh, bottle opener. How cool is that? Hand jive. It's a hand jive bottle opener. Thank you for that. I will definitely be using that. Thanks for that, man. A couple other things too. Uh, my friend Chris Donahoe, who I've done sessions for, uh, singer, songwriter, he wanted me to give a shout out to this thing called Little Kids Rock. Because they're having a uh, benefit next week it's a really cool program i looked at the website where um you know teach young kids uh, music and all that stuff from all the programs that were defunded so if you want if you were thinking about throwing a little something in uncle larry's tip tip jar you know just do it to that this week okay the uh, little kids rock check that out that's for you chris my old buddy Chris. Okay, and I also got other ones. I was going to tell you, I'm back at sessions this week. You know, I've been doing um, a bunch of sessions. I worked all day the last two days, some long days. But uh, Friday, I'm doing a session for my friend Daniel Tashin, who's been writing songs and producing uh, Burt Backrack. About a year ago, we, we tracked some songs. Um, and uh, I wanted to tell you guys about it because I listened to it on 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 YouTube and it was it was very cool. Um the song's called the The Bells of Saint Augustine. So check that out. Daniel Tashin Burt Backrack. Uh Tashin is T A S H I A N. And uh, that's your old Uncle Larry playing on that one. We did that over at Sound and Porn. It turned out good. And that's a cool song. And it was very cool to work with Burt Backrack. He was born in nineteen twenty eight. He's over ninety years old. He's still kicking ass. It was great. Really great. I spent like three or four days over there working with him and Daniel. And they got a very cool thing going. And I'm going Friday this week. I'm going over to Overdub on another song. So there's that. And uh, what else we got here? I got this whole you know notepad of things that I want to not forget to tell you guys. Um, I got a few questions here in the old... Uh, viewer comment bin um one guy said hey tom what's the origin of uncle larry i've had that question a million times people want to know where i got that i don't even remember i have no idea i think i remember i used to have this guitar tech years and years and years ago on one of the first road gigs i ever had this guy named rob olds i think he watches the show hey rob i haven't seen you in ages but he used to always joke around and say yeah it's just a little little tip from your uncle larry and I just stuck with me. I, I I don't know. I just I always say that, but that's all. I, some of the, there was some other radio show that people thought I got it from, but it's, I just remember getting it from him honestly. But it's not really. It's nothing to do with my name. Tom Bugavac is my real name, in case you guys have forgotten, which I apparently am pronouncing wrong. Um, all my Slovenian friends out there say it should be pronounced Bugavac, but my my mom always said Bugavac, so I'm just going to stick with that. She actually said Bukovac, which is weird. But anyway, okay, let's see. Hey, Tom. This is a cool one. The guy said, uh, I spoke to Laz, L-O-Z, from Church of the Cosmic Skull the other day, and he was happy to hear you get, you dig it. Thanks, man. I just want to give you a little taste of uh, revolution comes with an act of love. <laughs> for you, Lars. That's my favorite C-O-T-C-S song. 
Revolution comes with an act of love. Man, it gets me all ch choked up when those girls come in singing. I can't take it. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, let's see. Another guy said, Hey, Tom, the garage homeschooling sessions are my favorite thing to watch right now more than any TV show, movie, or Netflix series. Is that sick or what? Yeah, man, that's sick. <laughs> How bored are you, man? How bored are you? I don't know. I'm just trying to throw a few lessons out for you guys so you can learn some guitar. I'm really happy that you guys are uh, enjoying the show. I get some sweet comments, and it really seems like uh, there's a lot of kids out there that are learning the guitar and are inspired to play it, and that's really all that matters, man. This old Les Paul is pretty inspiring to play. play two different notes with the same finger, two different frets. Try doing that. <laughs> you gotta lay your finger down sideways. To get an E and a G sharp with one finger. That's an old Uncle Larry trick. He's been doing that for a while. But anyway, I was gonna show you this loop I was playing. Just a real straight, old school R&B loop. Key of A, okay? I was just going like, uh, A, F sharp minor, E, and then D, but you got to suss the D, like it'd be G over D. tuning bit right the open G but you can simulate that with that with that this bar chord where you play a D note and then bar across right. speaking of rock and roll I want to I want to show you guys something let me see if I can I got my laptop over here I wanted to show you let me see if I can find I'm going to solve one of the great mysteries of the rock and roll for you guys. Remember that old song, uh, Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin? With the crazy drum beat? Uh, right? Remember that? Uh, that's one of those bar band songs that people try to play that uh, no one knows when to come in on the one. Let me skip this ad here. I'm going to show you. Check it out. Here it comes. Okay. Play it for you one more time. Every time I've ever seen a bar band play that, they, they play it wrong because no one ever knows when to come in. But if you think about it, Joe Vitale actually taught me this when I was a young man. Um, I think they originally started the song with the Chuck Berry lick. Right? So that's a, that's what he's actually playing on the drums. That's the pickup. He's going uh, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, play. Okay, so... The first three notes that you hear him play on the drums are actually a three, 
eighth notes pick up. Okay, so it's like one, two, one, two, three. He's playing the Chuck Berry riff on the drums, the rhythm of it, right? So one, two, one, two, three. That's where you come in. So now that you know that, I'll play it again for you. Okay, check it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then there's that. How about that drumming? This is his bass drum. There was nobody like that boy. Still the best rock and roll drummer, in my opinion, that ever lived right there. John Bonham. Holy shit. Okay, so um, there you go. I think that's enough stuff to chew on for today. Getting a little long anyway, 14 minutes. All right, you guys, be good now, and I'll talk to you real soon, okay? Bye-bye.